Let me talk about this for a second. This is a serious thing. Okay, we have the Word of God, the Bible. I did not write this book. You did not write this book. This book has been around before we were here. How do we have a world full of people that pretend that they believe what's in that book, but they don't? Do you know how serious that is? Can we step back away from the world for a second and try to look at it from outside of the situation? Right here. What's on the first page? It tells us about the place we live. The place where we do everything. Okay. Let's read about it really quickly. Briefly, because there's something here, there's a lot of fake people, but they don't really realize that they're being fake. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. The Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, and God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. These concepts did not exist until this happened. Okay. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. A firmament in the middle of the waters. Like in the middle of the waters. And let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament. God made the firmament. And divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters he called seas. And God saw that it was good. And I'm, I'm going to stop there. We have a world full of people who uh, don't even believe the first page of that book. But they carry that book with them to church. And they say, oh, that's not important. I've got Jesus. That book is Jesus. Not the paper, not the letters on the page, not the language it's written in. The Word of God. The messages that are within this book. I've learned everything that I know out of this book. It is the Word of God. It is the truth. Every word of it. Cosmology. The earth. Heaven. The angels, God, Jesus. And the Son of Man. Do you know who the Son of Man is? He is Jesus. But he has an army with him. For all of eternity. And what I'm learning out of this book is that that army's here right now, protecting 
and keeping true that word, Jesus. He's doing everything. But there's people that are with him. And you should be able to recognize who those people are. Because they are standing up for this book right now in a world that does not believe in Jesus.